rather be a dreamer, I'd rather be free, I'd rather be a leader, I'd rather be a queen, I'd rather be a singer in a trashy cover band. I'd rather be a closer, I'd rather be clean, I'd rather be a poser in a magazine, I'd rather be pretty much anything else than your machine. Wasn't always just a single shade, a palette full of gray in reverie. And I can burn it brighter than the sun. I have a golden gun inside of me. I'd rather be a dreamer, I'd rather be free, I'd rather be a leader, I'd rather be a queen, I'd rather be a singer in a trashy cover band. I'd rather be a closer, I'd rather be clean, I'd rather be a poser in a magazine, I'd rather be pretty much anything else. And if I fall behind, ignoring all the signs. I lose the fight I still rage against the night I'd rather be a dreamer How's it going, everybody? How is everyone in chat doing? Welcome to the stream, Jed, Kai, Ruby, Flareon, 136, Amon, Portal Havoc, 203, Trisha, the Queen of Magic, uh, Fam 202 how y'all doing? I've been coding in Python, pretty fun, hell yeah. Hi, AJ, hi, Trisha. 
All right, so today we're playing Faith the Unholy Trinity. I've been recommended this game by a few people, and I'm really excited to jump into it. So without further ado, what better way to jump into the game than to just start it up? So let me switch over to the games. Uh, 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 games, 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 the faith. And it should show up here. Oh, oh, there we go. Yep, here we go. All right. Faith game program 666k RAM by three. I saw a star fall from heaven and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And Holy Trinity summoned Gary loves you. Okay. Airdorf Games. Let's go, Satan! New blood! Woohoo! Yippee! Alright. So, what's this? Also, let me turn it down just a bit. It's a bit loud on. September 21st, 1987. Okay. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. Alright. I have to finish what I started. Also, if it's too loud, let me know and I'll turn it down. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Let's go! Going against the Vatican! Woohoo! Faith. The Unholy Trinity. Oh my lord. Alright. Begin, instruction, options, extras, exit. Okay, so let's check the options really quick. Turn the game down just a bit. About 60 should be fine. Enable controller rumble. Oh, I can play this on controller. Let me, um... Did I charge a controller? No, I did not. This is so sad. Okay, it's fine. All right. So, yo, how's it going, Ben? Hope you're doing well. How's it going, Cloud Droid? Uh, instruction options extras. What's the extras? I'm curious. Conjuration mode, replay intro, credits. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go to instruction. To move the use WASD arrow keys or left analog stick D pad, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Okay, so let's grab this. Okay. Oh, face demons and cast them out with the space key or the A button. All right. Okay. All right. That seems pretty easy, actually. So... Of chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3 in Marathon Mode. For those of you who are familiar with Faith of the Unholy Trinity, about how long is this game? Is there anyone who's familiar with this game who could tell me about how long it is so I could maybe decide whether I want to do chapter by chapter or just do Marathon Mode? I forgot one moment. Well, a few hours or so, maybe around six to eight hours. Is there a save? Is there a save functionality where I can like save the game during marathon mode and just be like, OK, yippee, let's go. Yes. All right. Also, is audio good? Yes, not marathon. Yep, okay. Cool. So, audio is good. Awesome. So, let's. Fuck it. We're doing marathon mode. Quitting will delete save. Oh. Okay, we'll just do. Oh, I don't know if I want to. It said quitting will delete save. Okay, you know what? We'll do chapter one first. So, new game notes. Okay, so let's get a new game flashlight mode, lantern mode, turbo. Not yet unlocked. Okay, so let's confirm. Let's get this. All right. 
Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you if you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good place to start. Okay. Okay, so this... Okay. That was a note. Got it. Alright. Alright, let's get going. So... Where am I currently? So there's the road. Oh my god. What the hell? That actually got me. That was a bit, uh... Also, let me move my mouse cursor. Jesus. Alright. So, I don't know anything about this game other than the image that is showing up on the side. Why is shit getting a bit funky? Oh, God damn it, what? Mortis. Mortis. Damn. Mortis. You should talk to them? What do you mean I should talk to them? I can't talk to them. They'll eat me. I guess I'll just go straight up instead of going to the left. Deer! Hello, deer! Oh, goodbye, deer. Oh, well. Fuck you. Jesus, well. Oh, a note. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road. And go straight past the well. Okay. The deer went this way. Bye bye. There are some things around the area that affect what ending you get. Oh, shit. There's multiple endings. No. The bane of my existence. Multiple endings in a game, which means I have to replay it. No. Fuck you. Go away. May the power of Christ compel you. Press escape when the spider appears. Okay. <laughs> All right, I, uh, I pressed pause. Nothing happened. Ooh, a puddle. Can I step in it? I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Ooh. <gasps> no, poor dear. Hello, dear. No, come here. I'm gonna get this deer. <laughs> oh, hey, what's this? You know law team. If it's worth playing, yeah, it Bendy of the Dark Revival's worth playing. Oh, Ink Machine, eh? Not really. Dark Revival, yes. 
Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the home. The Martins' house lies about 100 yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father, Al Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw the old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. So can I go in here? I can. There's a key in here. Fuck you. I'm better. Brooks Clavis. Okay, so it said off to the right of the main path. So, I assume... Hello, dear. Goodbye, dear. Oh, what? Aw, oh, damn it. God damn it. More this. So I have to be facing the direction it's coming from for its account. Got it. I wonder what happens if I keep following this deer. Woo! That was fast. All right, it said to the right, so I'm going to the right. Uh, Knight Rider, I have streamed Delta Room. I have streamed Deltarune in its entirety, actually. All right, let's go up here. Set off to the right of the main path. So. I assume sooner or later I will find the shed. Oh, the purple guy. What's in here? Oh, you have? I just started watching your content, so I'm not going to know everything. That's fair. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Annie was down there in restraint. In restraint. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair, perfectly calm staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. All right, interesting. Why is it quiet now? What is this? Oh. They, oh, Nate. Nate, what the fuck are you drawing? There's a face looking thing there. I wonder what that is. There's stairs to the right there. There's also upstairs. I want to check upstairs before I go. Oh, it's the purple girl. Hmm. Okay. No, I will not stream Hello Neighbor 2. I think Hello Neighbor VR is the only Hello Neighbor game I will ever stream. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. Is 
any of this stuff exercisable? These? That would be cool. The amount of FNAF jokes I can make right now, yeah. The girl behind the plotter. Alright, there's a note there. There's something up there. Can I? Yes, I can. Bob must have been stationed, must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. What kind of clinic? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me, like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Okay. Interesting. The, oh, rubber ducky rubber ducky rubber ducky i don't feel safe in my own home anymore i hear voices outside around the house at night i don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because i'm afraid of what's out there the house itself feels stressed distorted slanted somehow it's like i'm walking through a carnival fun house amy's condition has only gotten worse i can't stand to be around her and i don't know why she just doesn't seem like herself anymore i want to take her to the doctor but i can't leave the boys here I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. All right. Interesting. So, let us go here. So, I assume that's the attic. I'm not going to go in there just yet. I want to check out downstairs before I make any, go anywhere that looks like I'm going to make progress. Because how many notes am I at? One, two, three. I am missing a few notes, unfortunately. But it's fine. So does the amount of notes determine what kind of ending you get? Is that how it works? Oh, no. Okay. All right, so let's grab that. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It's really brightened my day to hearing from blah, 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 blah. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what the, what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is... San la muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to San la muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's ho house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San la muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Layton. <gasps> Professor Layton, what are you doing in a scary game? No. What are you doing here? Notes are just collectibles. All right. Coolio, coolio, coolio. What about this? No? Okay. Why is this one in the wall? Hello. You look a bit sussy. Oh, well, there's a note here, so I'm going to grab that. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. 
I found Father Allred lying on his lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, that's not good. What happens if I stand in the middle of this? Oh. Hello? Oh, what the fuck? She is here. Interesting. Oh, are you kidding me? Mortis. Mortis. I'm so confused. This is really cool, though. She is here. She is here. Well, I got it, whatever it was. Okay. Got it. All right. What's the worst game you've played in your entire life? Ride to Hell Retribution. That game is awful. Got it. So what am I supposed to do? Is the one that blinks the most? Oh, I was just going by random. I was just going by random. Okay. I don't play many mascot horror games. That's not my thing. Can I make it up here? Yes, I can. Oh, well, I'm glad that I'm glad you heard the door open. I didn't. Oh, the attic door. So am I playing as the priest now? Because he's now got the little white thing on his collar. So I assume I'm playing as the priest. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you what their ver to tell you what version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me at first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with when I confronted her, she managed to cut the powers of the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. Okay. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She died, priest. Come on. Oh, what? Mortis. Mortis. My God, what happened to you? So do I just have to... I assume I just have to keep exer trying to exercise her with the thing while avoiding those. Okay.
This music is really good. I like it. Oh, did I get her? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what? Damn it. More this. No! No, I miss! No, what? Damn it. So... Hmm. So does that mean that whichever's the right one, it's going to be coming from that direction? Interesting. So it's going to be left to right, I assume? Yes, it is. It's going to be up to down. Up to down again. Left to right. Up to down. Come on. Got her. Let's go. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, what? More this. More this. Okay, I understand. Come on, what the hell? Oh, what? Damn it. More of this. All right. That's down, up, to the left. Okay, and then she's gonna be coming to the right, so I need to move. Okay, then up to the left, and then down. And then up, and then down to the left, and then to the right. And up, down, down. Okay, I can't get her when she's in the corners. Yeah, I can't get her when she's in the corners. Down, up, is it to the left? Oh, right, up. Okay. Down, up, left. Down.
left, right. Got her. All right. Come on. What are you doing? Oh. Hell yeah. Sounds good. All right. So let me, um, I guess I'm going back outside. Yeah, she yeeted herself out the window. Like, what the hell? What are you doing? Kill her? Oh, a shotgun. It has no bullets now. Fuck yeah. Oh, shoot the window? Oh. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Mirror? The mirror? The only mirror I can think of is the one in the... Bathroom? Wait, which mirror? Go back down and to the left? Okay. Alright. I'll, I'll listen to y'all. I'm hoping that y'all aren't leading me in... I hope y'all aren't leading me to get a jump scare, because I will hurt you all. I don't know how, but I will. Okay. Mirror? I shot the mirror. A gun with one bullet? A gun with one bullet! Yeah, it's crazy. A gun with one bullet. Do it two more times. A gun with one bullet. 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 So, hypothetically, why doesn't this priest just keep leaving and re-entering the room, keeping the bullet, and then just have a gun with a million bullets? Oh, what the fuck? Ah, get away from me! You're white! Or, yeah, actually, you're gray. What the fuck? What have y'all done? Come on! Ooh, can I get away? I don't know. It's not working? Okay, it is working. Get away from me! You're fat! You're fat and stinky! Come on! Get away from me! Okay, we're good. Oh, God damn it! Get away from me! You stink! You're stinky! Get away from me! Okay, you stinker. Where'd he go? Huh? Oh, what the fuck? He spawned off screen. What the hell? Get away from me! Oh. Oh, fuck yeah. October 23rd, 1986. Dear Dr. Miss McGlasson, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and... It's helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I'm happy to report that since accepting the truth, 
My nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute, contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinal in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Interesting. So was that a secret boss? Is that what that was? Was that like a secret boss or something like that? Man, if you only you had a gun with one bullet. Wait, now look at the three person picture. Oh, do I need to shoot the three person picture? Is that what y'all want me to do? A gun with one bullet. Yeah, a gun with one bullet. I get it. I can't shoot the three person picture. I've already gotten that note. A, gun with one bullet. a fun with smiley face. A gun with one bullet. All right, we're going on an adventure. Let's go, 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 go on an adventure. The thingamajigger is up and away. Let's go, 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 go on an adventure. Do, 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 do. You're dead now. No, you're not. This is so sad. This is so sad. I wasted the gun with one bullet. Oh, this one has a sad face on it. Look at him. He's so sad. That's so sad. Need to go outside now? Oh, a gun, a gum with one mullet. Damn. All right, I guess I'll go outside then. And look around the place for something to shoot. Okay. Can I go out this door? I assume not, but yeah, I can't. Choices now for what to shoot. A bullet with one gun. What if I shoot this? Oh, well, that didn't work. All right, well, that's sad. Thought maybe, what if like someone was hiding in the closet and I just shot her in the face and then it's dead. With one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Amy, a deer, Michael, and a gray man. Oh, okay. What if I follow this path of trees? There's a grave. What's this way? Wait, don't shoot. Wait, Amy would be a bad route. Do not shoot. Wait, what? Well, it says killer, so, uh. <laughs> El Bozo, can I like, can I like, uh, can I like teabag the corpse? Like, is this Halo? De Popo? Oh. Yeehaw, I've done a thing. Yippee. Criminal, 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 criminal. Oh yeah. All right, I guess we'll just go straight down the holy tea bag. Whoop whoop, that's the sound of the police. Whoop whoop, that's the sound of the beast. Whoop whoop, that's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop, this is something that I I guess the house is mine now. You're right. You make a good point. God, I love the aesthetic of this game. It's so simple, yet nice. 
car time. Oh. I mean, my car is down here somewhere, I think. So I guess I'll just go down. All right. Oh, that's so sad. Ending one of five, murderer. Okay. So, oh, police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murderer of a sterling girl who had been missing. John World of Palmyra, Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. New background unlock, new effect unlock, new chapter mode unlock. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Yippee! New blood. All right, so chapter one, continue new game. What if I click continue? Okay, so what, who do I need? Okay, so, okay. Chat, here's my question. Is there like a canonical way to beat this game? What like, is there like a canonical way to beat this game to move on to chapter two that kind of goes in line with the story? Or is it just kind of one of those games where like you can get different endings, but the chapters don't have anything to do with each other. Shoot spider demon thing. The spider demon or the deer. Okay. There isn't a canon one for chapter one. Go all the way back to your car. Well, there's Shadow Man. Y'all said don't kill Shadow Man. Oh, only marathon mode has a canon ending? Aw. Damn, maybe I should have done marathon mode then. I just didn't know how long the games were, so I didn't want to do marathon mode and then lose all of my progress. Damn it. Go back to your car. Huh. With marathon mode, you got to practice. Ah. Uh. Yeah, fuck you. Oh. You know, I think you should reflect on your sins. Mm, I don't think I will. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. I'm so proud of you. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. 
I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. Okay. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that <gasps> Oh my god, he said the name of the game! He said faith! Yeah, roll the credits. It's over. Please, animal investigate. Oh, animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal was, had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they... Initially get investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared Ooh. To be of a person after arriving at the scene police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here said a sterling police spokesman this is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found. Although they commented that the hair that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a, di a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Let's go! We did it! Yippee! Alright, so does that mean chapter two time? Chapter two time indeed? Alright. New game. Prologue turbo confirm? Oh. Okay. Father Garcia, you're hereby induct instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation and return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to road. Car Rome, Cardinal Gifford. What's this? What's this Bible doing here? Can I get it? No? Okay. One day. Two we oh my god. Three oh my god, what? Oh my lordy lord. I want to go home. I need to make you bitter first. Oh, if you find him to be evil, damn. I will exercise you, loser, a loser, a loser, a loser, a loser. Oh. Nandeska? Oh, what the fuck? I saw you come up here. We're gonna get that demon. We're gonna kill him. Okay. It got the three... It got the... Oh, no. Oh, what the? Oh, what the hell? Dios mio, what have you done? Oh, God. 
Oh, okay. What? Why is he shimmying? Why did he shimmy like that? It's 2 a.m. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Press the escape. Okay. All right. Cool. Wait, what is this? Notes. Wait, exit. Okay. Cool. So I guess we'll follow the path. Oh my god, that deer jump scared me. What the fuck is this tree? Oh, I can use the crucifix on it. Hell yeah. Novus Avisio. Aviso. Um, the current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society. All right, thank you, S5. Has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Interesting. All right, here we go. Into the cemetery, it seems. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try crucifixing all of these people. Oh, hey, this one can be crucifixed. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Okay. Save. Dearest disciple, verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I am a priest. Hello, my name is Mr. Priest. Oh, huh? What happened? Did they change? What happens if I do that again? All right. Time to leave, I guess. Oh, I didn't mean to enter again. All right. So. Let us go this way, I assume. Hello? Oh, that voice hurt my throat so much. Holy shit. Hmm. Oh, huh? Fuck you, go away. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Or this. Ah. All right, let's leave. Let's try that again. Where is he? I have no clue where he is. There he is. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Mortis. All right, let's see what's this way, actually, instead of going that way. Let's see if I can find anything else. Um, I assume this is shut. Yeah. Okay, so let's head down and see 
if my bye there's something else. Why is there like a Grim Reaper holding a cross? It's so weird. The hell is happening? I have no idea. I'm so confused. Oh, a note. Oh no, that just opened that door. Hell yeah. Is this the Dark Souls of Religion? Yep, definitely. All right. I saw that. All right, what's up here? Oh, another one. Oh my, what? Oh, what? Oh my god, I hate the amount of walking I have to do to get back over there. Just spawn me right in front of the gate. Please, I beg. Okay, so that leads to a boss fight. That other one leads to a boss fight. You know, it's very convenient that these demons are leaving... They're creating blood footprints when they're invisible. Yeah, it's uh, a little goofy. Like, tell me where you are without telling me where you are. Okay. Okay, so an infinite loop. Got it. Wonderful. Okay, so before we go to start fighting one or the other, we're going to really quickly go up here and see what's up here. It's locked. You can go... A hmm. Interesting. You can just go around it. Same idea if I, if I can't see them, they can't see me. That's truer words have never been spoken. Holy shit. Oh, what? Huh? Okay. I mean, interesting, but all right. So. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I'm a bit um, concerned. But I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, I guess I do have to fight the bosses. I mean, I guess that would make sense. Did he say I'm an angel? Oh, what? Mortis. Mortis. All right. Cool. Hey, it's Blood Kermit. That is. Statues before the baby fight have a purpose. Oh. Okay. Get away from me. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I got it. Hell yeah. Okay. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. 
Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Oh. Okay. I mean, shout out Gary. Gary's a real homie, but... All right, so let's do the game. Let's go this way. Right up left. So let's try. Right. Up. Left. No? Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Gary loves you. Exactly. Wait, right? So wait. If I go right, does the thing in the middle change? No, it doesn't. Huh. Then try a reverse. Left. Up. And then right. Nope. Huh, interesting. What are they, what are they trying to tell me? Is this even up or is this down? Maybe that's down and that's up there? Hmm, I don't know. Let me try to take it on this boss though. So it's going to go towards the clouds. Come on. Oh, did I get it? All right. So we got it. Losing grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Huh. Right up, left. What? Right up, left up? Save first? Okay. You got it, chief. Alright. Oh, there's... Oh, they're missing. What? Huh. Interesting. I'm so confused. All right, let's try right. Up. Left. Up. No. Hmm.
maybe it wants me to keep going right until that thing in the middle disappears. Hmm. Yeah, the heads are gone. I noticed that. Do you do anything? Yeah, the fourth statue is a bit confusing because it's got its hands up. It looks like. Alright. Right up, left, uh. Or maybe that's right down, left up. Let's try right down, left up. Right. Down. Oh, no. Hmm. Is there any more statues like this? What happens if... What, wait, what's down here? Anything down here? Just that. Um... Huh. Yeah, right up, left, up, up, maybe? I can try it. Right. Up. Left. Up. Oh. I did it. I don't know what, I don't know what changed, but. That made me jump so hard. Damn. I mean, I don't know what changed, but all right. Hey chat, I will be right back. <laughs> Do I get any of you? Yeah. 
I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge. Guided by beings of pure darkness, I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. I'll lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Interesting. Ah, ah, no. Hey, you can't do that. Oh? Hello. Oh, goodbye. I got a key. I just got a key. I just got a key. I just got a key. I had to watch the stream because the game is basically named after me. That is fair. Oh. Well, hey, something changed here. Hell yeah. What the hell? That demon was a tree. It was a tree demon. Where'd the tree demon go? She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Buff hog. Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation to the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. Okay, interesting. Hi, Shadow Man. Did you mortise yet? Yes, I did. I mortised a lot. Here we go. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Night one, we still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading into this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off of some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us it sounded like... It kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Huh. 
Interesting. All right. Yeah, this game is interesting. The more I play it, though, the more I wish I had played it in my spare time. I don't know why. It's just it's a different vibe sitting here because it feels like I've got people with me when I stream games. But this is a game that I definitely feel like I should have played on my own so that I really felt that feeling of like being alone, if that makes sense. Oh, the candles keep changing. All right. Watch the candles. Yeah, I see that. Oh, what the fuck? So does the candle depict where I am and where it is? I assume that is the case. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, God damn it. Well, what am I supposed to do then? All right. Time to leave. We're going up. What's in this cornfield? Me too. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs, the children, the thing that took them. It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops. It was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't tear it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there, me, the scarecrow and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in, fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran to what little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. Oh, nice. Well, he said to bring the girl to him, but I don't know where the girl is. I assume the girl is the thing that freaking killed me. How do I bring that to him, though? Hmm. Interesting. Um, grayscale virtual lad nine. Huh. Interesting. The candles are a puzzle, if I recall correctly. Okay. Huh. Uh. Oh. Oh, we're keeping this. I like that. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't save, damn it. Um, hmm. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Use the crucifix? What do you mean use the crucifix? On what? Well, I already did that. It just gave me a note. I got this note before. Yeah. Huh. Don't try and trick her. Did I fuck it up? I think I may have fucked it up. Because if I did it wrong, yeah, it's gonna jump scare me in this room. Oh no. Oh. Huh. Um. Okay. Don't try to trick her. Got it. All right. Okay. So she's still up there. Okay. So. Come on. Oh, hello. A new thing. Night two. We're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off the shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight we were trying the spindly lady game again. One of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Oh, really now? Huh. So how does the pattern of it work? Um. Oh. What the hell? Why'd you do that? One second. Let me. What the hell? All right. So. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I'm genuinely confused. Yeah, I'm trying to lure her into that room. Do 
These are the pews, right? I think. Um. You don't think that's it? But it said to bring her to him. Watch the candles. Oh, what the hell? Watch the candles. Okay, well, I see that. Oh, oh, she's in that room. What the hell? Oh, come on. She was in that room. Somebody told me you had a boyfriend who looked like Think your goal is to banish her? Well, how do I banish her? Because it doesn't even give me an opportunity to pull out my crucifix when I'm in When I'm uh Oh! Oh, god damn it. I understand. I feel so stupid. I feel so dumb. I really do feel like an idiot now. Okay. This is fine. So when the aberrations start, then you... Oh, God damn, what? I'm gonna be completely real. I'm probably gonna finish chapter two and then call it there for the stream because I am weirdly exhausted. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're in the same room. What? There we go. Two, three. Oh, I can just move. It's not on a set path. Or it's on a set path. Three. Okay, and then... All right, one, two, three. And then it's on a set path, and then boop. One, two, three. On a set path, and then boop. Nice. Three. Okay, one, two, three. Got it, I think. Oh, shit. Also, you can make chapter three a separate stream. Yeah, for sure. Darkness surrounds thee. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she awaits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here, as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done. I have... Oh, fuck. Yeah, the bosses do start to feel samey after a little bit. Um, I own I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison. Ears bleeding from the screams of a, of the demon. OK. All right. 
However, I will give it credit where credit is due for a game of this nature and how it like and how it plays and how it looks. It works really well. What the hell? Huh? What the hell? Okay. Okay. That is so interesting. Wait, so... Okay. Puzzle piece X down. So wait, is this puzzle piece X down right spiral? X down right spiral down. Boom. Boom. Got it. Wow, I'm so good. Mother of Demons? What? What the hell? Oh, hello. New area. Okay. Holy shit, this game is great. Whoa. Uh, essentially what I did was the, um, basically the symbols in the circle, you have to go in order or the goofy tentacle monster comes to get you. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings, Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nagalis and Troy Ing Ingles are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Regnet. What? Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether... Or not, these two incidents could be really good. Oh my god, what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt... Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst, couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works for they are the works of the eternal dragon ever even now she is at thy door her hand is at thy throat yet you see her not i will have thy soul for i am the god of this world pandemonium regnant satani vene vitae pandemonium regnant satani okay so just a bunch of oh god oh my lord oh my lordy lord goodbye six 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 Upside down crossing six 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 six. I'm here, John. Oh, hello. Oh, what? What the hell? Oh, this is cool. Oh, what? Huh? K. 
Candy Tunnel. Death Await. It's an eyeball. What does this say? Okay. Candy? I want candy. No, I wouldn't trust candy in this tunnel. Ale Star? Satan lives. <laughs> oh. A key! Two more dead found outside Candy Tunnel? Damn. Uh, grizzly discoveries over the past three months. Authorities are being pressured to concern. In fears of a possible connection to Joe Bauman, aka the candy store killer who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. God damn. That's a hell of a body count. Whoa, hello? What are you doing? All right, let's go down then. Read. When C. Don't. Move. When C you it don't move. When it sees you, don't move. Okay. Damn it. Should I have just, I guess I should have just tried not moving like it said. When you see it, don't move. Or yeah, or when it... Either when you see it or when it sees you, don't move. One or the other. Either way, I get it. So just don't move. Just let him come towards me, I guess. I was just so panicked. I don't want to, like, let him come close to me. Okay. Don't move. Oh, fuck. I hate this. <sighs> okay. All right. I don't like this. This is too quiet. Come on. Okay, there's candles now. Guess I'll follow these. Guess I'll just follow the blood trail. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, what's that? Oh, a flashlight. Okay. It's a weird looking flashlight, but it's Oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck that. What? Huh?
Oh, come on. A four directional flashlight. I don't know how I feel about that. I like it. Makes you feel really restricted in a way that a lot of games don't. Like a lot of games that try to go for that restrictive feel don't do it right because it feels too restrictive. This feels like a product of its time and its restrictiveness, but it works towards its to its benefit. Ooh, ooh. I see you. Did I get it? Is that that? Ooh, I like that a lot. That was awesome. That was a really good boss fight. I'm a really big fan of that. That was awesome. That was a really cool boss fight. I really like that. Holy. Okay. We've gone quiet again. Look. Oh, hello. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you gay? I can't read that. It's locked. They hate the light. They hate the light. Oh, what the fuck? They're all surrounding me. I love the music and atmosphere. Well, this is doing something. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with this something. Like I have them bending to my will. I just don't know what to do with them bending to my will. I could literally sit here and have this do this. I could literally take a piss break right now. I saw that, but I could literally go take a piss break and be fine. Look at my cross. Look at my cross. Look at my cross. Look at it. It's very pretty. Yeah, locked door usually means find a key. Yeah. 
But I have these guys bending to my will. Can I kill them? Well, I did something. Oh. Okay, I found the key. All right. There we go. I did it. Hello. Whoa, huh? I believe in you. You got it. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer, God. There is no fuck you to have, God. But huh. Amy bound her soul in that rest. Let us go. Damn. Hello. It body be Patrice that feel it at Spiritus Sancti. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My no! No! Mortis. Mortis. Oh. It's Did we do it? Okay, it did save at least a little bit. Come on.
Come on. You bitch. God damn it. So she's pulling out all the tricks from the past few boss fights. Okay, so she's supposed to kill him. Oh, what? Wait, is she supposed to kill him? Or am I fucked if she kills him? Ow. If she kills him, different ending. Well, she keeps killing him. What am I supposed to do? Because she literally tracks straight to him. Like, it's... It's hard to protect someone who the boss is literally tracking straight toward. What the fuck? Whatever, I don't even give a fuck. I really don't care. Cause that's such bullshit. She tracks, what the f- Okay, cool. Yep, that was absolutely wonderful. What the fuck? What the? I had the crucifix out. My crucifix was out. Okay.
Okay, cool. That's wonderful. Yep. Come on. No! You fucking bitch! Actually fucking die! God damn it. Okay. Got you. Come here, the power of Christ compels you. No. Uh, oh wait, what? Oh, just barely. Up, left, right, up. No, <sighs> that was close. Got her. No, God, come on. Also, fuck off. Not dealing with shit like you. All right. Come on, it was the one on the left, okay. Ooh, come on, ooh. This, this boss will be the end of me. Okay. I'm gaming age, I'm great at video games. Okay. No! God damn it. I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Get away from him. No. Okay. <laughs> up, left, right, up, stop, and then get you.
Mortis. More what now? More tits. No! Wait a second, no! Okay. I believe in me too, I got this. Ah, damn it. Oh my, okay. That's awesome, thank you. Get into position. All right. No, she flashed and then killed him. I can't believe this. Uh, you missed the entirety of chapter one, me raging over the final boss of chapter two, and yeah. Lots of me getting angry. Mortis. Mortis. Oh, all right. One second, we will be, I will be right back. Do, 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 do. Where's Spotify? Where is Spotify? Do, 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 do. I'm going to get Spotify booted up for music. I'm currently getting a phone call. I'm back and we're going to finish this. Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Mortis. This is genuinely giving me one of the biggest headaches I've ever had. This is horrible. Oh my god. Mortis. Oh, I didn't realize how loud it still was. Let me kick that all the way down.
Stop that. Up, uh, left, right, up, get got. Oh my god oh my lord what the hell are you kidding me the morning breaks one second um what the hell Okay, thought I got a notification. Seems like I did it. Oh my god, okay. Well, John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. All right, let us go. I'm not going in there. But what if you did? John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail. Malfus must be stopped. Malfus! closer. The workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith. Faith like the name of the game! Oh Lord. That was a hell of a final boss. Ending one, go forth with faith? Oh God. New backgrounds unlocked, new effect unlocked, new chapter mode unlocked, yippee. Oh, I got the good ending, let's go. All right, let me see really quickly. How Okay, so Faith Chapter 3 seems to be the longest of the three from just doing a regular search. So what I'll probably do is I will probably save the final chapter of... Um, okay, I get it, I get it. I'll probably save Faith Chapter 3 for its own... Um, for its own stream because I've actually really enjoyed this game. I just... After that final boss of chapter two, I genuinely am like on the uh, like on the verge of screaming. Um, but that was a really fun game. I actually really enjoy the bosses and it's got a unique concept to it. So I definitely like this. I definitely like this game. I'll probably take some time in my spare time to um, to play through the first two chapters again and get other endings. But um, what is this? Replay intro conjuration mode credits. Okay. So what it wait, let me really quickly. If I go to chapter one, continue new game notes, new game, flashlight mode, lantern mode, turbo. Interesting. Okay. Well, either way, this was a really cool game. I really enjoyed it. 
but Lord have mercy. What a what an ending. So thank you all so much for joining me. I know again, this was a really short stream. I've been kind of balancing watching my sisters and making sure that I also stream. It's a really weird balance I'm having to do, but hopefully I'll be able to um, I'll be able to do more stuff. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to do longer streams. I just really need to get my energy back because things have been really out of whack for me lately. But either way, I'm really, really happy to have played the faith. It's a great game. I love I love both of them. And I'm really hoping that um, after next week, I'll probably do chapter three. So um, what I'll probably do is next week, I've already got planned The Last of Us Part Two, Kingdom Hearts, like usual. And then um, Yakuza Zero. And then um, Rage Games, like Octodad, Dadliest Catch, and um, what was it? Um, I Am Bread. Those were the two games I was planning on playing. So that's going to be a really fun time. I'm really excited. Hope y'all are excited for those two. Um, so yeah, with that being said, thank you all so much for joining me for Faith, the Unholy Trinity. And I will see y'all next week um, with The Last of Us Part 2 on Tuesday, Kingdom Hearts on Wednesday, Yakuza 0 on Thursday, and um, Rage Games on Friday. So with that being said... Have a good day, night, or afternoon, and stay safe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Also, I might do some random uh, spur-of-the-moment streams over the weekend. I'm not sure. Can't promise anything, but it might happen. Anyway, goodbye.